Greetings, APW family. With our main collective bargaining agreement expiring on September 20th, I wanted to give you a status report. Simply put, the work of negotiations is proceeding. Over the summer, your negotiating committee and many of your officers and national staff have been laser focused on negotiating the strong new contract you deserve. Under the solid leadership of Industrial Relations Director Charlie Cash, who serves as our chief spokesperson, we've worked tirelessly to strategize and formulate proposals. We've had main table meetings with postal management about once a week. And so far, the union has presented some 80 proposals to management. These include, but certainly not limited to, vital issues for our members, including an all-career workforce, bridging the divisive multi-tier wage structure, improving workplace safety, better staffing, and job security. At this point, management has presented 11 proposals. Once proposals are made and placed into the record, they are often sent to subcommittees for deeper discussion, including craft subcommittees, which are headed up by each of our four craft directors. This Saturday, September 14th, the APW and management will be, quotes, locking down for seven days of intense negotiations. While it is not uncommon for our negotiations to go beyond the expiration date, we do hope to make real progress in the weeks ahead. In 2021, for instance, we reached a tentative agreement in early December. But it's very important for you to know that if a new agreement is not reached by September 20th, our union contract will continue in full force and effect with all of your rights intact. This is a great time to declare Union Brown Say Loud by wearing the union gear and sending management the message that we're united in securing a good contract that respects and rewards postal workers for our dedication and hard work. We will continue to keep you posted with messages like this on our toll-free hotline at apw.org and on our social media channels. Solidarity forever.